So, at the 2023 Huawei Global Analyst Conference, Huawei Vice Chairman and Rotating Chairman CFO Meng Wanzhou declared that Huawei would keep supporting the advancement of digital infrastructure in the 5.5G era. Huawei will continue to work to assist the development of cutting-edge technology in the 5.5G era according to Meng Wanzhou. The business will also develop IoT and 10 gigabit experience network tools. The power of the computing industry will be equally available in the future thanks to this. According to sources so far, 5.5G is the next step following 5G and improvement of the 5G network. Naturally, 5G won't upgrade to the 6G network overnight. 5.5G is one of the intermediate stages that will exist. The only choice for the following stage of the 5G network upgrade and development is 5.5G. A cooperative agreement to obtain a 5.5G standard is being promptly reached by the industry. With Huawei's 5.5G, the downlink speed can exceed 10 Gbps. Over the initial 1 Gbps of the 5G network speed, this is a tenfold increase. Its latency, setup, and dependability are all significantly better than 5G at the same time. Yang Kaebin remarked that improvements in a number of essential 5.5G technologies have been developed as a result of the combined efforts. Powers of 5.5G and 10G already exist, thanks a lot to cutting-edge technology like ELAA and MBSC. The former is a virtual large carrier, reconstructed discontinuous spectrum, whilst the latter is an ultra-large scale antenna array. Both of these technologies improve wireless networks. So, for a domestic corporation that did business with Huawei, the US state has proudly announced its largest ever penalties. That firm is the world's largest hard drive manufacturer, Seagate, which now owes the US government $300 million for the audacity of selling products to the blacklisted Chinese telecoms vendor, Huawei. In an effort to prevent Huawei from obtaining semiconductors, the U.S. Department of Commerce's Bureau of Industry and Security increased its persecution of the company in August 2020. However, it appears that not everyone was aware that this new punishment system also covered other technology components. So, what do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.